Now you already know, man, when it comes to the Florida Department of Corrections, when they change things up and they try to do something, you know, out of the ordinary to make a change in what's going on inside of the prison system, Frog got to speak about it. So for this one here, I'm going to be talking about how the Florida Department of Corrections is now trying to place ankle monitors along with wristbands on every single inmate. So let's talk about it. I'm the best, finna be this way till I EOS Take it how you want, nigga, yeah, I'm a pro Fuck around, a bunch of lot while you're at Vizzo I hate to be this way, but I live for the moment Waking up every day, show me an opponent Shanks on deck, hitting bitches with locks So much pool, I can even start you from the box You don't wanna pay rent, got me bent Got lax on deck, your money was well spent Vultures on the prowl, so don't try test And step two, cause violent first steps finesse And you a hold down man, suitcase this My cell phone and my charger don't walk with a limp Get it knocked off or missing, you gon' get it Next time I see you ass, you gon' need airlifted What's up, y'all? You already know, man. K Frog TV back in the building. Y'all go ahead and do me that solid favor, man. Make sure you hit that like, subscribe button, and also make sure you hit the notification bell so you can see it first. Welcome back to the channel, y'all. Today, I actually put this little video together just to speak on this recent topic because it kind of, you know, fit at home with me, you know, as far as what they're trying to make a stop to inside of prison. Okay? Now, like I said in my introduction, the Florida Department of Corrections is trying to place ankle monitors and wristbands, bracelets, on all their inmates, all right? Now, apparently they have already started in an institution, okay? But the institution that they started on is a re-entry, which is a place that you will go to if you have like two years or less on your, you know, sentence. And there's already inmates walking around with ankle monitors on. Now, the reason that they want to put the, you know, ankle monitors and the bracelets are the reasons why I feel like I need to speak on it, okay? Now, it's crazy because apparently the ankle monitors that they are now wanting to put on inmates is to detect any cell phone devices or anything in the area. I know while I was in prison, they had phone jammers, which was like a box on the outside of each cell door at certain institutions. They had them placed in different spots and stuff as well at certain camps, but phone jammers didn't matter. There was still a way to get out to the outside world if you had a cell phone. There was just certain ways you had to do it. Some institutions, you got to relocate your, you know, your cell and, and it might work with this phone jammer to where you cannot call at all out of this dorm except for one area that has one good old spot where you can get them reception bars. You feel me? So them trying to put an ankle monitor on the inmates in order to stop that, I mean, my opinion is don't because you know when one person comes up with you know a dumbass idea there's another genius in there ready to crack the way of getting around it okay that's the thing but go ahead and spend the money you know let the let the let the state spend the money of getting everybody an ankle bracelet you feel me i just look at it as like what happens when you're on, you know, the jail phone, the prison phone? Or what happens if you have your MP, your MP3, your MP4s? Does that mean none of these things can be, you know, close to you? If that's meant to, on your ankle to stop you from using cell phone devices, I'm pretty sure it's got to somehow have something in it that detects all type of electronical stuff. You see what I'm saying? So I feel like it's not really going to get nowhere. Now, Using it on people who are like in re-entry or people who have a low time left on their sentence, that would make sense because, you know, you want to make sure since they're already low custody and they're already, you know, in re-entry, ready to go home soon, you want to make it to where this is the hardest part now. Now you got to wear an anklet before you are released. You got to wear this anklet every day inside of this institution and there's nothing you could do about it. You feel me? But as far as putting it on inmates that got a long stretch or inmates that aren't in reentry, you feel me? I feel like it's kind of pointless. There's always ways around certain things. And if I had an anklet on me that was to detect cell phone devices and stuff while I was incarcerated, main thing I would do is I would, I would use the phone on speaker. You know, you think about it. If there's ways that you know, people can get contraband from cell to cell, which is called phishing. There's ways 
to use a phone from a distance. You get what I'm saying? You can make a pole, just like you make a pole when you're fishing your line under the door inside of confinement. You could make a pole and dial a number from a distance. Think of it. You could literally have it over there and you could tap the numbers. Boop, 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 boop. And talk on speaker. Be like, what's up, bitch? You hear me? Yeah, da 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 Yeah, all right, bro. I need you to drop that bread. I need you to do this. I need you to do that. Now, it might tone down as much phones as there is going on. And it might make it to where it's not that easy now to use cell phones because you have to do it like that. So the guard's going to wonder why at midnight they hear somebody over there yelling when really you're just, you know, you're talking from a distance on speakerphone. But somebody's going to find out what the range is, okay? There's going to be somebody in there that literally tampers and takes the risk. And next thing you know, boom, they're going to go to confinement for a cell phone or whatever. But they're going to know, okay, the perimeter is three foot you know and then there's going to be ways that they crack it right they're going to crack it to where they'll put things inside of their mps and stuff like that if the mp isn't registered with you know the the distance of the monitor they'll put things in there that will make it go off so that way after enough people get brought to confinement they'll start thinking that the mps are you know altered and they'll start thinking that the MPs are what's making it go off. So then what are they going to do next? Take the MPs off? I doubt it. What they're going to end up doing is, is they're going to end up getting rid of the anklets. They're going to get rid of them eventually because they're going to feel like a lot of inmates are getting put in confinement because their monitor's going off saying they are around some type of electrical you know, device. And then when we run down on them, we don't find nothing but their MP. You see? So they're going to feel like them shits ain't really registered right. I feel like there ain't no way to stop, you know, the cell phone use and the electronical use. You know, that's why not that long ago, Florida was talking about putting cell phones on the canteen. Like they were making it to where you could purchase a cell phone and just like you use a prison phone, your numbers that you use got to be like on your phone list and registered and everything like that. So... You were going to give us cell phones, but you can only call numbers that are on file. You still couldn't bang out to anybody you want. It was just to where you could have a phone on you. They were going to see if that made it kind of die down, you know, instead of people illegally having cell phones. But just like you could crack an MP and make it to where it doesn't block curse words and you could put porno flicks on it and movies and stuff like that, you can crack an issued state issued cell phone and make it to where you don't need a registered phone list you see so there's ways all around this stuff so my opinion on the anklet i don't think it's gonna last long but it's crazy that they already have it in effect in certain institutions now to talk about the wristband the bracelet that they want everybody to wear now i know some county jails make you wear bracelets believe it or not it looks kind of like the same band that you would wear in like a hospital or at the carnival or something you feel me? It's a wristband and normally it says your name and all that shit on there. But Broward County, where I'm from, we don't wear that. Trustees and, you know, the people who serve the food and stuff wear them. You know, depending on what kind of trustee you are, if you're someone that's allowed to serve the food or not, you might have a green one along with your other trustee band. So the ones that usually have the green band with the other band, the green one means they're allowed to serve food. You see what I'm saying? So... The trustees normally have that. That just means they're labeled. That's their job title. You feel me? But other inmates, we don't have that. You don't walk around with no wristband. But apparently these wristbands that they're now have in Florida prison already that they're trying to make a thing to take over all the institutions is not just a simple wristband, but it's actually a wristband that monitors your heart rate and the beats to your heart. And the reason that they are actually making people wear that wristband now is because they don't have enough staff inside of the prison. So by them not having enough staff inside of prison, they feel like, okay, well, we'll be able to, you know, jot down and, and see what somebody's heart rate is. Now, if they decide to smoke K2 from all the overdoses of people smoking and stuff inside of prison, we ain't got enough guards, but their heart monitor goes from this to that. We know that they're you know, smoking K2, you feel me? And it's crazy because me, at the end of the day, I ain't trying to wear no wristband that monitors my heart rate or anything like that. As far as locked up, 
because I feel like since I'm not one of them people that smoke K2, I feel like they're going to get the same heartbeat every day. Now, what happens to the people that are back there, you know, on the phone with their old lady? You feel me? Or looking at a flick book, a st straight stunt magazine or something like that. Their heart rate going to rise. What, you going to get ran down on every single time you try to rub one off? Think about it because your heart rate going to jump up too. Uh, you feel me? Right or wrong, you know? I can understand when you're getting fights, tension arises, and you know, your adrenaline's going when you're all lining it up, you know, but at the end of the day, it's not going to really, you know, stop people from fighting. What it might do is be like, okay, well, before our heart races go up, I got to just stab them and get it over with. You know, they might just start stabbing people. You feel me? I just feel like it's a dumb reason for them to put those on people because I feel like nine times out of ten it isn't going to change nothing because people who want to smoke people who want to do things and just because they don't have enough officers it's still going to all be in effect you're still going to have people smoking still have people that want to do things and still ain't going to have enough officers so by them putting that in the department of corrections down here in Florida my opinion is it's dumb as hell Literally, that's my opinion. You know, that's why I'm on here and that's what the comment section is for. For y'all to drop y'all's opinion. If they got something like this in your state, inside of prison, let people know inside of the comment section. You feel me? But as far as like how they think it's going to make a change, make a difference, I feel like it's just a way of making a change but not a difference. Because if everything's going like this... For a while so now you're like oh we're gonna throw this out there and that out there and see if we can get it over here where we need it you feel me no you're not it's gonna go maybe in the middle a little bit you know because people are gonna try to figure out how it works there's gonna be ways around the fucking wrist, you know wristband there's gonna be ways around the monitor there's gonna be so many different ways around it that it's kind of like pointless and when I think about it, and then I've seen a lot of people commenting on this one person's video. Actually, somebody sent it to me on Snapchat, and one of my baby mama sent it to me too, believe it or not. But it's uh, it's against human rights, it should be, you know, for them doing that, you know. Because you got to look at it. It's like on the streets, you know, sometimes I wear, you know, one of the, what do they call it, a bit rate thing? The uh, the things that, you know, tell you how much you're... you're your, your heart paces and everything like that, a bit watch. I wear one of those or Apple watch where it lets me know and shit, my heart rate, how many steps I took, you know, stuff like that. But in prison, if it ain't doing all that, you feel me? If it's just monitoring your heart rate and to know if you're smoking or not, or if your shit goes up when it shouldn't be going up, I feel like through it all, you know, it's, it's pointless. Because like I said, people are gonna do what they wanna do. Now, I will say it again, re-entry and people who are going home soon, it would make sense because you know, you want, you want to teach them, you know, you, you want to make sure they're ready to go home, you know, cause a lot of people will live a ratchet lifestyle inside of prison throughout their whole bid. And then right when they get close to going home, they'll straighten up and stay out of trouble just so they can easily make it out them gates. Cause it's tough going home. So maybe they keep it at just re-entries because that's for short timers now so maybe they'll keep it there so when people are going there obviously they go home soon and it's like if you mess up you know this is an easier way to monitor you you know if you mess up before you're about to go home soon so that way if you do mess up you know you we push your date back give you more time you know that's that would make more sense but as far as them trying to put it everywhere in florida there's people in there that got life sentences. There's people in there that got decades. There's people in there that just don't give a damn. And then what about the people that are going to max out? Like what if you are somebody that did all your time and there's no more time they can give you if it isn't a new charge? What about them? They're going to be like, man, the, with, with the monitor and with the wristband. They're going to be like, it is what it is, man. I go home. You feel me? And them lifers, you think they're going to want to walk around like they're like being monitored 24-7, how much they're breathing, and, and if they're around anything electric, metal, you feel me? So I feel like it's not a good idea. And I feel like other people should speak on things like this. You know, I know not that long ago they were talking about tasers being brought inside of prison. And shit, you feel me? I don't know if it went through or if it didn't, but I heard it did, you see? That's just another way for the guards to kill inmates, you know? So I, I'm against these type of things only because 
not because I'm an ex-con and you know I, I was on the inmate side of things. It's more of I know both sides though. You see? So it's more of I know how they abuse their authorities. I know what they already get away with. You feel me? It's kind of like when you watch them old movies or them old shows like Game of Thrones and shit like that. And you see the damn, you know, you, you, you end up seeing like how they do what they want. They treat women how they want. They rob who they want. They steal. They do whatever they want. That's what the guards do inside a prison. They treat inmates how they want. They rob who they want. They take who they, they want. They do whatever they want. And nobody can do nothing. If there's somebody that is from a higher power, there's nothing you could do about it. So why give them more things to use to get away with? That's how I look at it. At the end of the day, shit, if cell phones are a problem or people smoking K2 are a problem inside of prison, I feel like no device on your ankle or around your wrist should be what stops you from that. Them guards need to do their damn job that they get paid for. That's how I look at it. You know, instead of being professional button pressers, they need to actually do work. You feel me? If you look, they hire them for absolutely no training. You know, anybody could become a correctional officer. It ain't hard, you know what I'm saying? Unless you're a felon, you feel me? But other than that, they don't have no skills. They don't do none of that shit. So it's like the ones that come in with skills, that's a, you know, pat on the back for you. You're above your employer, you know what I'm saying? The people that you're employed to, the companies and the, and the, and the, all you need in order to, you know, be on that squad, you're doing more than them just by having certain talents and certain trades and better things about yourself than the damn place you work for. So I feel like at the end of the day, the guards need to do their job, not no damn bracelet. You feel me? Because what's the point? of having an anklet and a bracelet on them and making them go to prison then. You might as well keep their ass on house arrest at their house then and not have prison. So what, it's like you lock them up so they're not at home, right? But then you put an anklet on them like you would at their house. What's the difference? You feel me? If you can monitor, you know, an anklet, make sure there's no metal devices around and a heart rate thing around their wrist, I'm pretty sure you can monitor to where nobody can come over their house if they were on house arrest, right? There would be ways to monitor that. You know, you'd be able to, they got the thing in people's cars now to get DUIs where you gotta breathe before your car starts. So I'm pretty sure they'll have it to where you, you could, they could control your lights in your house. They could control your damn TVs, your, all that shit somehow, you feel me? And just have people locked inside the house. If you're gonna monitor them that strictly with an anklet device and a wristband to see if their heart rate goes up. To me, I just feel like it's crazy. That's why I wanted to come on here and talk about it for a second. I want to get y'all's opinion though. This is my opinion, you feel me? And I'm open for arguments or discussion, but I really want to know what y'all think. You get what I'm saying? Like, do you think it's a good idea or not? Me, I feel like at the end of the day, the more and more they try to stop what they're trying to stop, the more and more ways that they're going to be able to do it. Believe it or not, you might think you're doing two things to stop something, but them two things are giving two more accesses that you're not thinking about for them to create other things. You see, you gotta think about it, man. Like, okay, their heart rate's going up because they're smoking the K2, so we're gonna put a wristband on them. All right, well, shit. They're gonna find a drug to do to where your heart rate don't go up. It might go down slightly, but barely. You feel me? You don't really know. You feel me? That's why, that's just how it is. Okay, for the cell phone device, uh, can't be around metal, so we're going to figure it out to where we get a phone that ain't got no metal in it. Go to the Geek Squad and get them shit sent in to where we ain't got no metal in it. Because it's possible, because I had one when I was in there, a posh, that got all the metal taken out of the back of it. Just so that way I could slip it in a dial bar of soap and slide it right through metal detectors. When they go to search my property, they look, won't even find it. You see what I'm saying? So there's already ways around metal detectors. What makes you think there's not gonna be ways around the anklet? I just feel like it's kind of pointless. There's a whole much more that they could be spending that money with. The money that they're gonna spend for an anklet and a wristband on each inmate, man, they can up the food quality. They can up the portions. They can do so much. Maybe if you gave the inmates more, a lot of them would wanna stay out of trouble on their own instead of trying to get into trouble. You feel me? That's another way you can look at it. You know, you give them the bottom of the barrel, you feed them like shit, treat them like shit. What you think? The only thing that's fun or doesn't feel like they're being treated like shit is the illegal things they're doing. So they're gonna do that. 
You see what I'm saying? The more leniency you give them and the more, you know, you allow them to be themselves instead of like a real animal, then the more they will stop trying to be an animal. You see, that's how it goes. You feel me? That's my opinion. But I just dropped this video real quick. I want y'all to let me know what y'all think inside the comment section. If you're somebody that works inside a prison, drop in the comment section your thoughts and, and break it down. Let everybody know the reason why you think it's a good idea for them to have those on inmates. And if you're an ex-con like myself, drop it in there and let people know what you think. Like why you think it should be or it shouldn't be. But like I said, I do feel like short timers, that could work. That could help anybody who's, you know, in there getting high their entire time. You know, you know that could make them like not do it. Now they got the damn bracelet on. They can't be getting high and stuff without finding a way around it. And then, you know, they'll get out and they won't OD. Because a lot of people, you know, go to prison that are on drugs and their family thinks they're in there being clean. They're happier that they're there, not on the street somewhere. Ain't got to worry about them dying somewhere. They know where they're at. But in all reality, they're in there still getting turnt, still getting high. And they'll get high their entire bid. You feel me? And then they'll get out on the streets and act like they were clean the whole time they were gone. And then do a drug on the streets and overdose. You feel me? That's how it goes. So maybe, you know, they want to make sure when people are getting released, the number of people who were still high right before they just got out, you know, maybe they want to make that number a little bit slimmer or something. So that would make sense. You feel me? But that's all I got for y'all today. Y'all let me know. Y'all already know the comment section's open. I appreciate y'all tuning in. I also want to let y'all know if y'all want to tune in and vibe and chop it up with me. I stream on my gaming channel, which is K-Frog Gaming. I do it at night times around 11.30 p.m. So it's like late night tip. You ain't even got to be a gamer. You just come over there, vibe, hang out, chop it up. I answer all my comments. I don't skip none. Whatever it is y'all want to talk about, no matter if it's prison, it can be gaming, it can be anything that you want to talk about, anything you want to ask Frog. Anybody that tunes into K-Frog Game will already tell you it's a perfect hangout. So y'all catch me over there, man. I'll be on there later tonight. I appreciate y'all watching. Like I always say, make sure you keep them rat squares, clowns, chomos, pedos, gunners, wannabe island boys, and clock chasers out your circle. Until next time, that's the one and only. I am my team, Frog. I'm a criminal. I'm a cool nigga, but I got a limit, though. I'm a cool nigga, but I got a limit, though. Cause I'm a criminal. Yeah, I'm a criminal.